In this tutorial I'm going to show the workflow between 3ds Max, uh, Mudbox, and Photoshop. So I've gone and uh, made a model in 3ds Max. This is just a, a basic model. Um, I started with a plane, added a bend modifier, a wave modifier, taper, edit poly, relax, and then finally I unwrap the UVW map. So whenever um, going between 3D Max and Mudbox, you want to make sure that your UV, UV is set up as a tile within 3D Max. So to do that, you can add an unwrap UVW modifier, open the UV editor, and then just make sure that the UV map is within this tile, um, the unfolded map. And so I scaled mine a little smaller so it didn't intersect with the edges here. So once you have your model, you can export that. And there are two file formats you can use. Uh, you can either use the OBJ file format or the FBX file format. For this, I'll use the OBJ file format. We'll just call this form. And then within OBJ export options, you can actually choose the preset mud box um, so that'll make sure all the settings are okay for Mudbox. So go ahead and select Export. And then open up Mudbox. Um, when you export your model to Mudbox from 3D Max, there are two ways to import that into Mudbox. You can either import it as an OBJ, but I found that it's better if you just open the file as an OBJ. So, so instead go to File, Open, and then find your OBJ. Open that, and then everything should come in okay. Um, so once you have your model within Mudbox, there's a few things you can do just to see it better. If you right click in your scene, you can turn your grid on or off. I'll turn mine off for now. And make sure your wireframe on your model is on. That way you can see the subdivisions of your geometry. Um, you can also start to subdivide this geometry. So if I go to Mesh, Add New Subdivision Level, I can add additional levels of subdivision. You can see that it will smooth the geometry. And so now we're ready to add a paint layer. Um, for adding a paint layer, you want to make sure in your layers that you're on the paint layer. And then you want to select from the paint tools one of these paint options. For now, I'm just going to use the paintbrush. And then remember, with the paintbrush or any of these tools, you can change the size and strength. So I'm just going to make this um, a little bit bigger and then choose a color here. Um, and you can choose any color you want. You can add images as well. So we'll just choose a, a bright blue color. Okay, and then if you want to paint with a stamp or a stencil, for example, you can make sure that you have a stamp image selected. So if I want to use this boulder pattern, um, I can use that. As soon as you start to create the painting, it's going to ask you to create a new paint layer. Um, remember, this, for this we'll use the diffuse, so instead of uh, one of these other layers, just make sure diffuse is selected. So this is the overall color, or um, if you're going to use an image, it's the image that's going to be applied to that surface. So we'll use diffuse layer, say OK, and then you can start painting. You can see it's actually using that bolder stamp image. If you'd prefer to use just the color, you can turn off the stamp image and choose just color. Let me reduce the size of my brush here a little bit. So that'll allow you to paint with just color. So once you've painted your model and used pattern or, or however uh, many colors you want to use, you can export this to Photoshop and do additional painting within Photoshop. To export this diffuse layer, if you right click on the paint layer and select export channel to PSD, Photoshop, it'll ask you to save the file name. I'll just call it Test PSD. Select Save. And it'll automatically import that file into Photoshop. So within Photoshop, you could add additional layers. I could add text, for example. Let me increase this point size a little bit. Um, if you wanted to, you could also paint within. Um, within this layer as well. So if you select the paint layer and choose a color, you can actually paint directly within Photoshop and you can change your brush size um, up here. So once you're done, if you save this file and then go back to Mudbox, it'll automatically ask you to re-import that layer. So you can re-import and you can see that that new um, pattern is applied to the object. Another way to do this is to export um, your screen to Photoshop. So that'll export directly the screen image you have here. Um, you can say uh, the size. 
Let's call this test two. And that'll automatically open in Photoshop, and this will allow you to apply um, texture, or color, or um, let's say some text directly within that screen object. Let's see. Let me make sure I have I'm on this layer. So, for example, if I want to paint a color, oops. Let me reduce the size a little bit here. So let's say I add this yellow stroke there. If I now save this and then close this and reopen Mudbox, it'll ask me to re-import that as well. And you'll see it'll apply that uh, texture to the object as well. So that's how you can paint with uh, using Photoshop and Mudbox. And now let's export this to 3D Max. So once you have your paint layers and your geometry uh, set up in Mudbox, you can go to File, Send to 3D Max. And you could send Selected as a new scene. Oh, yeah, actually, I have to select the model. So if you right click, you can select the model and then say File. Send to 3D Max and select it as new scene. And you want to send uh, the base mesh because the idea is that you subdivide it within Mudbox and get all of the detail and the texture and the paint. But then in, in um, 3D Max, you want to use the base or the less subdivided mesh and then apply the maps onto that base mesh. So we're going to use send base mesh instead. And you'll see that um, it'll automatically open up in 3D Max. And it should open up with all of your layers and your paint applied to the object. Um, if you want, you could choose uh, more subdivision in that, that mesh. You could always add mesh smooth modifiers here. And that won't affect the paint texture at all. And if you open up your material and then go to Get Material, Um, you should see your material show up under scene materials. If you double click on that, um, you can then see your material and it should automatically be linking to all of the maps. If you go to the maps, all of the different um, maps should be reflected there.